my word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Take what you want from people? I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Indeed, no matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am. It's the Black Dragon type Pokemon, right? The truth is this. The Black Dragon appeared before a hero who sought the ideal way to knit together a world full of warring people. This Black Dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to the Unova region once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, er, I mean Team Plasma, desires. Here in Castelia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. Yes? What is it? One thing we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. Talk or battle or trade. Remember your speech at Takumula Town? You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokemon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing, aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? <laughs> you are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I expected. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well, we will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Thank you. Money, I'm so glad to see you again. Bianca, why are you thanking them? They take people's precious Pokemon. It's just, I'm, I'm so happy that my mana is safe. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah! What do we do if anything's happened to the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay. Thank you, Iris. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my darling Pokemon back again. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh, it would be sensational to look around Caselia City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Iris... Mm-hmm, that's great. Iris is a dazzling Pokemon trainer, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. So a little give and take, hmm? People and Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here is this for you. Yay, a Yawkberry. See you. What? Wait! Well then, Shade, I'll be waiting in the gym. 
Hmm. What's this? A smoke ball. Yay. Now, let's go finally challenge that Pokemon gym. I think I've waited long enough to do so. What do you think of Castelia City? I bet with all the bustling people, you started feeling worn down on your way to the gym. Never mind, this will help. Take it! Fresh wire. Yay! The theme of this gym is walking through walls. At first glance, these funny honey walls may look impassable or even impossible. If you try hard, it'll work out. So I say. But if it doesn't, here's a sweet tip. Step on the switches on the floor. Actually, I have an idea. Oh, trainer, took a look at the sand. Do you see how some areas are lighter, and some of the sand looks darker? Pokemon are hiding in the darker sand. Yeah, that's like, entirely my idea. X accuracy. Yay. There's a healing spot there, I'm pretty sure. It's a Scraggy! But, I already have a fighting type. Hmm. I guess I'll use... Bug Bite? Should be neutral. Let's use it one more time. Now, let's use a Pokeball. Hmm. You know what? Let's use a Great Ball. Seems like a good idea. Gotcha! Scraggy was caught! Its skin has a rubbery elasticity, so it can reduce damage by defensively pulling its skin up to its neck. Give a nickname to the caught Scraggy? Of course! I'll name it this! Starscraft! Alright, let's heal up Starscraft. What? Are you worn out? Okay, then rest here for a minute. Alright, let's go get another Pokemon from here, since I'm no longer restricted to one Pokemon per area. It's a Sandile. Not what I wanted, so I'm not gonna catch it. But, Lily does need to be trained up quite a bit. So let's get on with this. Aww. Stop lowering my accuracy. Oh well, doesn't seem that matter too much. Alright, let's go up here. There's some trainers. And some items. A great ball. Awesome. That makes up for the one I used. I can't see up ahead because of the sandstorm. Because I can't see, I'll have a battle with you. What kind of logic is that? The two things have nothing to do with each other. You just wanted to battle me. Be honest. She has a tin pole. Strange Pokemon to have in this sandstorm. Bubble Beam. Not gonna do much to me. 
Eat this! Awesome! Lily grew to level 21. Another temple? Let's stand then. Another razor leaf! Sandstorm! This parasol keeps out the sun and rain, but can't stand up to sandstorms. Ah, my tears are falling on Route 4. Um, that's nice. I don't like making women cry, but oh well. Not much I could do about it. 